Hello class, in this video we're going to learn how to calculate Pearson's correlation coefficient. Let's quickly review what is Pearson's correlation coefficient. Pearson's correlation coefficient, which is defined by the letter R, measures the strength of a linear association and scores it with a numerical value between negative 1 and positive 1. Based on the given value, we could therefore identify what is the strength by referring to this chart over here. In the previous video, we said that values that are closer to negative 1 or positive 1 will have a more stronger linear relationship, and as this value gets more closer to 0, then the relationship becomes a lot more weaker and the points are a lot more scattered apart. In order for us to work out and identify what is Pearson's correlation coefficient, we need to follow a number of steps which is outlined in this particular slide over here. To find out Pearson's correlation coefficient, you will need the CAS calculator and you will therefore need to follow all these 8 key steps in order to get to your final answer. As you can see, I've highlighted 3 steps as these are the most crucial steps you need to follow exactly in order to get to the correct answer. These steps are related to identifying and importing what is the explanatory variable and what is the response variable as getting these mixed up will therefore give you a different answer. So let me show you how to do this using two examples. The first step is to open the spreadsheet and I'm going to enter down all the values for each of my two variables, okay? Now, just to keep in mind that you need to label your columns before you start this. And once you've listed down all the values into the spreadsheet, what you want to do next is identify the EV and the RV. Remember, the explanatory variable impacts the response variable. So in this example, it makes more sense for the income to impact carbon dioxide emissions. So that's going to be explanatory variable. That's going to be my response variable. And remember, that's plotted along the x-axis. That's plotted along the y-axis. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back onto the main screen, then calculator. Then I'm going to click on menu, statistics, stat calculations, and I'm going to enter the fourth option. Make sure the explanatory variable goes where x is and the response variable goes to your y axis. And what this will produce is all the values that are needed for your equation for the line of best fit, as well as Pearson's correlation coefficient. But for now, I just need you to concentrate for this particular value over here. So as a result, our answer is going to be equal to 0 0.818 if we rounded this to three decimal places. Let's have a go with another question. Again, what I'll do is I'm going to open up the spreadsheet and then I'm going to enter all the values into my spreadsheet, okay? Once I've done this, it is really crucial for us to identify which one's my explanatory variable and which one's my response variable. In this case over here, if you were to read this part, this will tell us that your latitude is going to be your explanatory variable. So this is going to be my EV and therefore that's going to be my RV. So that's going to be plotted for my X axis. So again, I go statistics stat calculations, linear regressions, I put latitude over here, and then I'm going to put average temperature here, and therefore I'm going to get an R value that's equal to negative 0.94538, but if I was to round this to four decimal places, this is what I'll be getting. Generally, the question should tell you how many decimal places your correlation coefficient should be, but if it doesn't, then just put three to four values, and that should be acceptable. What I'd like you to do now is I want you to have a go answering this question yourself. Give yourself a minute and then we'll go through the answers together. In this question, it wants us to find the correlation coefficient for weight against waste measurement. So again, what I'll do is I'm going to enter down all the values for weight and waste. We don't need to input this value at all because we're not interested in that particular variable, okay? Now, you need to identify the explanatory variable as well as the response variable. In this example over here, weight is going to be the explanatory variable as this will impact your waste size. So that's going to be a response variable. Remember, this is going to be plotted along the x-axis, that's plotted along the y-axis. So after I've completed entering all the values in my spreadsheet, go main menu, calculator, menu, statistics, and then click on linear regressions. Make sure that your weight is your plotted along the x-axis, your weight is plotted along the y-axis, and therefore, you're going to get a correlation coefficient that's going to be equal to 0 0.931388, which is more closest to D as the answer. I'm hoping by now you're fairly confident at finding Pearson's correlation coefficient using the CAS calculator. What I'd like you to do now is to please answer all questions from exercise 7e to get further practice. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye.